Hi, my name is Zaurish Manabaeva uh, and I'm a student at Nazarbayev University Graduate School of Education. This is speaking assignment uh, one formal presentation on the topic of providing evidence. Um, looking at the outline, it consists of three parts. Yeah, in the introduction part, uh, we will consider what is evidence, why it's important in uh, writing a paper and uh, how uh, evidence should be used in the paper. In the main part um, I will share with some guidelines for uh, effective choosing uh, of evidence and uh, introduce with some types of uh, evidence with examples. There will be also some practical exercises and the last part will, will be a conclusion. So, um, evidence is um, using evidence is a, a, is a third stage of uh, working on your paper when you are clear with your claims, with your thesis statement, you have a clear uh, rough outline, and you have already read some uh, articles, uh, collected some information that might be related to your. Um, uh, thesis statement. Uh, however, uh, this process of uh, uh, this stage of writing, choosing uh, effective evidence and uh, cor correlating it into your writing, is very important as um, it makes your claims str stronger and credible. So, uh, talking about what, uh, as answering the question, what evidence is. is it should be said that it is any information that you use from uh, research articles to explain your uh, point of view. So um, there are two steps that you need to consider while choosing uh, evidence. It is you need to make sure that you understand this uh, text and that it is directly related to your topic. So uh, talking sub, um, about how it should be understandable for you is first of all it is you who need to understand if you don't understand what you are writing about it's not going to be an effective paper for example a student wrote people become addicted to alcohol because of emotional distress social pressure and physical causes however uh, later um, a student might not been so good at um, uh, chemistry so what the student decided is just to change uh, not to write uh, about the physical causes or chemical um, which considers chemical uh, reactions that happen as a result of alcohol so the student just changed uh, the last point to genetic predispositions um, Talking about uh, the relevance of, your, uh, of the evidence to your topic, uh, mostly students are tempted uh, to use interesting facts, to include interesting facts to, to a paper. However, if it's not related, it's not going to be again effective. Uh, let's consider an example. Uh, the focus of paper might be a comparison of uh, fast food and uh, healthy food, uh, considering its cost and uh, nutritional value. Uh, and uh, the information about the history of tofu uh, and the common health food is not um, relevant, so it, it will not definitely work. Uh, how to use evidence? Um, here are some tips. Uh, you need to make sure first, first of all, that you are writing it appropriately into your paper. So you uh, firstly analyze it, make some conclusions, and show the relevance. Uh, it, you need to make sure that your evidence supports directly your um, points of your main ideas and claims that you present uh, in your thesis statement. Uh, you need also to explain to the reader why it uh, supports, how it supports your claim, um, making some conclusions. It's good when you have a big amount of um, evidence. Um, the more you have, the better is the, the quality is. And of course, um, 
uh, it's very important uh, that you know how to cite them uh, correctly to make it cre credible. So here is some practical exercise on choosing uh, effective uh, evidence. Uh, here is a thesis and there will be some uh, se several evidences and you need to choose, um, decide which one of them is uh, good, uh, which one of them not relevant, so and explain them. The thesis statement is Using the internet gives young people increased literacy, but also leads to health problems and isolation. So this is internet, as a result of internet uh, or screen time, there are health problems and relationship issues. Here is the evidence. Uh, Ask their preferences for spending free time. 19% of the student body at high school chose playing sports. 24% watching TV, 22% listening to music, and 34 surfing the internet. Um, is this, um, the, the question is, is this uh, evidence effective? Yes, no, why? Explain, please. So, I think you are right. This is uh, not so good evidence, as it only considers the amount of um, uh, the percentage of uh, students who serve the internet. However, it's not related to, it does not talk about uh, the causes, like the results of this uh, screen time. Next uh, evidence is in some study, business people between the ages of 35 and 50 reported spending 10 to 12 hours a day online, thus severely impacting the time they spend with colleagues and family. Is this evidence effective? I think you are uh, right again. Uh, this is a very good, uh, strong evidence because it directly talks about um, mature people spending a lot of time, uh, almost the whole day on the internet and that it has already impacted on their relationship with their family members and co-workers. Next um, evidence. Feeling isolated, many te teenagers turn to drugs or gang membership to solve their problems, according to interviews conducted by Smith and Paget at Outsiders Cafe. Is the evidence is related to the thesis? I'm sure you, are, you have uh, made a good decision. It's not, as um, it only talks about uh, the results of isolation from the society, the consequences of isolation, but it does not talk about the consequences of using internet and uh, health issues. Um, another evidence, the problem of feeling estranged from their society is much more severe among young people who spend more than four hours a day online, states Martha, the pro-psychologist at uh, Vanderbilt University. Is this evidence uh, related to the claim. Um, I think you are right. Uh, yes, uh, this directly talks about estranged, uh, from the feeling estranged. Um, the result of spending screen time uh, uh, is that many people feel uh, Isolated. Of course, it talk, does not talk, talk about health problems, but somehow it can support uh, the another uh, the relationship between internet and isolation. Uh, so let's consider now um, types of evidence. There are four main types of evidence: Einstein evidence, example evidence, fact evidence, and anecdotal evidence. Let's consider them one by one. Einstein evidence talks mostly about uh, scholars' opinion. Uh, that come to the, the, the same conclusion as you claim. For example, patients, surf, sorry, patients surfing from terminal illness might tend to feel negative and hopeless. Edward Marlow, an associated professor of clinical psychology at Columbia Presbyterian sorry, Medical Center in New York, argues that in many cases a dying patient is simply occupied by negative reactions to their critical conditions. It's very important to note that in Einstein evidence, um, a writer or a student needs to uh, provide some information about uh, who, is the author, who is the scholar, um, from what kind of university he is. 
to show more uh, the credibility of the evidence. Example evidence, of course, as it says, uh, it talks about uh, specific examples. Uh, for example, here we can see specific examples um, supporting the claim. Um, to illustrate this point of view, this is a key word. A large number of people living in widely separate areas could form a community simple through electronic communication. Um, next uh, type of evidence is fact evidence. It includes the statistics, data, and other types of uh, objective information that supports your claim. For example, um, many studies prove that meat, speci especially beef, pork, and lamb likely increase the percentage of heart disease and cancer. And uh, the last uh, type of evidence is undocumented evidence. It comes um, from the opinion of a writer that is commonly known, well known. Uh, for example, uh, isolation of uh, the, mostly teenagers want to fit in their peer groups and uh, they feel pressured to behave like the, another teenager. It's um, well known information. So. Um, Another version of undocumented evidence is commonly known as anecdotal evidence. Uh, it's also okay uh, if you use this kind of evidence in your paper. So, concluding my presentation, I can say that uh, evidence uh, is an uh, essential part of any paper uh, as it lends your claim, it supports your claim, it makes it strong and credible, but first you have to be very good at choosing it. Uh, you need to consider is it related to your topic, uh, does it address your, uh, the issues that you ra raised, um, and of course you need to analyze uh, it and show your analysis logically uh, and clearly uh, correlating it into your paper. Um, it's very good when you use a variety of evidence in your paper and a big amount of uh, evidence, enough appropriate number of evidence. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of my presentation.